afternoon, Blaster Peeps. Um, this fine long weekend. I uh, put up a post at the start of the weekend saying we had a couple DSG builds in the making and we had um, something special lined up for you guys as well. So here's the little special build. It's a idea I've been working on for a couple months now. So I've just been getting all the parts required and just doing a little bit of R&D trying to work out what I need to do to make it work. So I think I've got a working recipe. We're just putting through this prototype. So what is it you might ask? So it's another DSG platform, but we have decided to drop our DSG gear sets into a vector. So there's a few things that we've done to the vector in the past. We've created a 12 to 1 vector, which is an absolute animal. Um, 30 meter lasers, is, it, uh, we max it out about 380 FPS and we play around with the FPS as per field regulations so when we go out to spec ops we drop it down to 295 um, and it's really really good um, my other, other one of my mates who likes running around with it uh, loves the weapon or loves the blaster I should say sorry so wanted to amp it up a little bit more um, see how far we can push this vector platform uh, this is probably going to be one of the last DSG R&D that we'll play with. We've got other builds in the process, other builds in, um, in the... Oh, sorry, just feeling a little bit under the weather. Got some other builds in the back of my mind which we need to bring to reality. So, as always, watch your space. We're always trying to do innovative and interesting things just to show you guys what, what can really be done with these blasters. Um, side note, the custom made battery boxes that our um, 3D genius comes up with, so big shout out to Josh, uh, hit us up by all means, we can custom make any of the boxes to any spec that you want, if you've got different size batteries, if you've got different locations, you guys want different designs, we've got a couple designs that we're working on this weekend for a couple people that have um, forward interest um, in those boxes. You know, like I said, we can put them anywhere. We've uh, got a couple designs where we put them in the handguard. We've also got a couple designs where they can be um, the foregrip. Um, you've seen the ones where we attach them to the stock. You know, we're working on a couple stock well, uh, the hold it, the wells standard stock. There's a little Picatinny rail on the right hand side, so we're utilising that to put a couple battery boxes on there. Uh, so yeah, PM me. We'll get some designs happening if you're interested in it. Um, and then we'll forward you the design if you like it, by all means. We'll start pumping them out. If you want to make any more changes, you know, more than happy to oblige. But back to why we're here. So what we've had to do to this vector. Uh, with the 12 to 1 vector, we've noticed that the 6 mil bushings just cannot handle the pressure. Um, we've had to change some bushings over, um, we've cracked them, they've warped, they've shifted in the housing. Um, that seems to be the weak point in our build, which is understandable. We are pushing these things to their absolute limit and then a little bit more. So I've been racking my brain uh, and the only real solution that I came up with was upgrade the bushings. So we've machined out these housings that you have here the top half of the housing and as you can see I've dropped in 8 mil bushings so because we come up with that idea we ran it into the 12 to 1 loves them absolutely loves the 8 mil upgrades so we're going to see if we can push these to the limits and we've dropped in our custom DSG 6 to 1 gear set um, why am I claiming custom because we basically monster two gear sets together so we grab your standard SHS 12 to 1 gears, we remove the SSG sector gear, oh, if I can grab this out, and we drop in the DSG gear set, um, press fit, I throw them on the balancer, machine them up as necessary, and then we come up with, well, I, I originally was calling him a 12 to 1 DSG, but um, like I said to Andrew, um, I jumped on the marketing 
Um, the <clears throat> marketing bandwagon. Uh, uh, Fighting Bro released their 9 to 1 DSG, which is just an 18 to 1 with a double DSG gear on it. So, why the hell not? I'm going to call these a 6 to 1 DSG. Um, so, they are a 12 to 1 gear set with a DSG gear attached to the sector. So, we're going to utilize this in this build um, with associating mods as always. So, for the prototype. We'll run, I'll get back in there. For the prototype, we'll run a CNC 18K. Oh, rookie mistake. Let's get you a bit of better angle happening here, guys. There we go. So we'll run a CNC 18K. Now, I know a lot of you people out there screaming at your screens going, but hold up, Rowan, that's a long shaft. Yes, yes, it is a long shaft. I could only get my hands on a long shaft to try and get this build out this weekend. So I'm in the position where I am, do have a machine shop available to me. So we'll just chop that down and make it a short shaft. So we'll shorten the shaft here, we'll modify the bearing housing, we'll change out the infinity pinion gear for an SHS pinion gear, uh, allows for better meshing, thanks to, um, um, oh, what's his Facebook name, AEG, oh, I'm sorry man, I've got your Facebook name, um, tech over at uh, AEG Blasters, I know it's not AEG Blasters, my apologies bro, um, Nordic AEG, there we go, big shout out to him, he's the one that sort of put me on to the fact that these had different pitches in their, between the pinion gear and the SHS uh, bevel gear, don't really match up properly, so we'll sw switch that out for an SHS uh, pinion gear. Uh, then pretty much it's just uh, mimic the 12 to 1, so we'll run a stainless steel cylinder, we'll run the nylon piston, metal rack, um, I'll throw a, a big six hole piston head at this. We'll run the brown o rings. Shout out to Alfred. If you want to hit up Alfred to get those brown o rings, by all means, hit them up. More than happy to source you guys out. I'll sort you guys out with that. Um, we'll run just your standard orange T piece. No need to change the T pieces, guys. No need to go to the alloy T pieces. Even the black T pieces, they're a little bit of a headache. Why? Um, uh, give me a second, I'll grab you an orange tea piece and a black tea piece and I'll explain the situation. Alright guys, so here's your orange tea piece. Oh, that's a really good angle, I like that. So if you have a look down inside, you can see how that tea piece there has a nice sealing shoulder to seal on. It's got that 90 degree, um, where's the little pointer upper, oh, here we go. It's got that little 90 degree edge there, and then it goes into a chamfer. Whereas uh, the black tee pieces does have the shoulder with the chamfer, but it's a different profile. It actually does not match the nozzles. So you've got two different ang angles trying to see make it create an air seal. So these don't seal that well. A lot of people are having sealing issues. Um, the alloy tee pieces fucking even worse highly do not recommend those at a pinch we could use these but then you got to modify a lot of other things to allow pr enough pressure to seal up against it I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of people out there that say they use the black tea pieces without an issue I'm just telling you guys what I've come across um, I've had one black tea piece work for me um, and the other ones caused me a few issues in regards to sealing a couple of things that I do to <clears throat> these T pieces to ensure that they seal properly as you can see that there's a split in here so I super glue that down 
and put a little bit of cube bond on the outside just to ensure that there is no air leaks. Yes, I do realize that the ceiling surface is here, but um, <coughs> it's just something I do for an added security just to make sure that there's um, absolutely no chance that any air is going to leak from that. Uh, we're going to run a Bruise Master stainless steel inner barrel. Uh, we'll chop it down to length. Uh, we'll probably utilize. Oh, it's gonna have to be really short. So it'll have to be shorter than what we run in our 12 to 1 because the 12 to 1 is a full size cylinder. Um, I'll crunch some numbers, work out how long the cylinder's gonna be. Oh, sorry, how long the barrel's gonna be. As opposed to how much effective um, air volume we're using in the cylinder. We'll jam a. I don't know. We'll start with an M150, that's a safe bet. Probably amp it up to the M170. Um, by all means, I'll throw an M190 at it just to see if it likes it. Uh, we'll see where our FPS is and what type of pressures this is going to put our build under. Um, you know, we'll chase reliability, FPS, rate of fire is a must, and clearly accuracy. Uh, we've got some custom uh, hop-ups that we print ourselves, so we'll utilize that. Um, what else am I got? So in regards to accessories and looks, um, I'll do a paint job on this one. I'll probably change it up. I'm tossing up on whether to go absolutely ridiculous paint job, so something that's just far, far out there. Maybe like a chrome gold or something stupid like that. Or I can just keep it... Um, a little bit less toned down, maybe a tan or an earth, earthy colour or two-tone type of style. I haven't worked it out yet. I'll run off to Bunnings and have a look at their colour palette and see whatever takes my fancy. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. What else we'll use? We'll use the standard vector head um, cylinder cylinder head. Uh, use a double O ring. Um, nozzle yeah that's about it so I think the biggest thing with this will be this DSG gear uh, I can't wait to get it together actually because the 12 to 1 vector just that blew me away and changed my whole perspective on blasters I'm hoping this will do the same thing I'll keep you posted guys as this build um, comes together obviously um, and once again oh another side note started our Facebook page by all means, please like, share, we'll keep an, um, you know, throw up some information on there. If you've got any questions, PM me. Always happy to help everybody as much as I possibly can. If you've got any questions about any products that we make, by all means, hit us up, PM me. We can talk more about that. Any builds you guys need done, PM me. Um, you know, we're a bit under the pump at the minute. So we'll try and get through them as quick as we can. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thanks again guys, you know, as always, watch your space, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.